Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to pick up where we left off with uh, the group by method for iter tools. So, all right, uh, this one is you can do a lot with this one. So, I wanted to um, break this up because when you first look at it, it looks pretty complicated, but then when you really start thinking about it and what we know how to do it's not as overwhelming so all right this is where we were last time where we took where we took our uh, string our iterable and we ran it through group by so for I in new and we print out I so there we go it is a list of tuples with a key and a group so that's gonna be our hint for a little bit but um, before I get too far if you're new here thanks for joining us if you've not subscribed yet go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell we have videos coming out all the time so all right um, so let's block this out so now now let's do a list comprehension and this is really kind of cool. So, all right. And I'm going to do this as kind of a step so you can see it to what I really, really like this to do. So, all right. And uh, I'll put a, if you don't know what list comprehension is, I'm putting a card right here. All right. So, we do our four key and group in actually let's undo this so we don't have to type all that in we'll just use new so all right in new so then we close this out now key group key group so now we're going to list group all right, we got that. So now let's run this. And okay, there we go. Thought I forgot a comma. Oops. So I want you to look at this. So now what this did is this made a list with our list comprehension, a list of lists. So it broke this up like so. So that is an awesome technique that we can just use what we have so we don't have to run through a for loop and do it and do any ifs or if statements. This will do this for us. Now, what would be handy for us to be able to do right here that we could take our key and then count how many items for each key. So let's get rid of this and now we learned um, a while ago uh, how to do dictionary comprehension. I'm gonna put that up here right now. And we're going to do that. So, all right. So now we have letter count. Do our dictionary, then we do our four letter in new. So we have that, right? Now we do our dictionary just like we would do for our key and our value. And when this creates it, it has the key value in a tuple so this is going to be zero this is going to be one follow so and then we need to we also did this because we're going to turn this into a list then we're going to do the len function so let's see how far we are all right we're going to do a little bit more and i didn't know if we would do part three with this or not so all right let's get rid no we need this so we're going to do our dictionary so letter 
zero because this is our looping through because we're not going to split it like this. This is going to be this right here. Then we're going to split it on this side of the four. And then letter one. But then we need to put this in a list because we want to split it up and get it to look like this. And I might need to scoot this over just a little bit. And then let's wrap this in a len function. So now what we're doing is we're going through this awesome method and we are allowing it to group and then we're going to come back and count the groups and then now when I run this let's see if I did it right then I do letter count I will get a dictionary of the letters which are the key and the number of occurrences of said letter so here we are at about six minutes so I think this is a good stopping point and I want you to think about it because the third video we are going to do this in three parts this is just a warm-up so you can see and think about it but now the next one we're going to do this as grades a group of grades so then you can group them sort them maybe first then come back and do a dictionary comprehension on those so all right as always thanks for watching don't forget to, if you haven't done it yet go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell videos all the time don't want you getting lost or feeling overwhelmed and if this is the type of video go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me and keep those comments questions are my all-time favorite any video requests coming and i'll knock them out had some really good ones recently so thanks again stay tuned and we'll see you next time bye guys